Hey everybody, it's Brian Coley, The Movie Whisperer, and this is a place where we look at the intersection of our story with our movies. And I've been doing a series of videos on the Oscar nominees and why you should see them. Not necessarily because they're the greatest movie in the world, but why you should see them as far as how they intersect our story as a country, as a culture. So today we're going to look at two movies that I feel like are very tied together thematically as far as what they say about our story. Uh, the first movie is Sound of Metal. Uh, this is a great movie. I would highly recommend seeing this movie. It's an indie film. It's uh, on Amazon Prime. Uh, Riz Ahmed uh, plays the main character and he does a fabulous job as far as an acting job. So just for the performance alone, I would say see this. He plays this drummer in a band uh, with his girlfriend and he starts to lose his hearing almost overnight. And then he's having to deal with this hearing loss and what he's gonna do about it as an artist and whether he's going to embrace the deaf community and some other aspects of the film as far as what it looks like as far as his new normal or whether he's going to try to get surgery and see if he can repair this. So that is uh, Sound of Metal. Uh, this video is really hard for me because I don't wanna tell you the endings of these movies which have so much relevance to the themes. So I'm just gonna make this a short video and allow you guys to see it and see how uh, relevant these movies are. So the next movie is uh, The Father. Same type of movie, really. It is a person who's losing their physical faculties, well, mental faculties, I should say. In this case, Anthony Hopkins plays this older gentleman who is uh, suffering from dementia. And so we're placed inside of his head and actually dealing with his loss from the standpoint of you know, his ability to make sense of the world around him, whether it's relationships or whether he still lives in this flat that he's so passionate about living in. Um, and so we're kind of uh, placed into all the disorientation that he has uh, in the movie. And that disorientation, I think, is, is what we see with both films. Two characters who are very disoriented as far as, you know, this new sense of normal. Well, it doesn't take me too far to tell you guys if I put America as the main character, then you start to begin to see these themes being very vivid. So if you could watch these movies, put America as both the Anthony Hopkins character and the Riz Ahmed character, and you start to see characters who are suffering loss, who have suffered loss, and are struggling with how to deal with that, how to deal with their dignity, their control over the situation, and this new normal, and what to do with this new normal. So I would highly recommend them watching these movies from the standpoint of, I'm not going to spoil the ending, but to see where these characters land in relationship to this new normal that they're both fighting and trying to figure out whether they can live in. So that's, that's those two movies. This is this video is just short and sweet, but I want to encourage you to go see those movies from the standpoint of looking at, you know, we as America right now have suffered a lot of loss over the last year and we're looking at a new normal. Uh, so these movies may help us figure out how we're going to navigate that in 2021. So anyway, hopefully this encourages you guys to watch it. Uh, we'll come back in the next video and take on some more Oscar nominees. But thanks for watching The Movie Whisperer.